This is Rod from Mount Washington Sewer. We are at 228 West Milan Road in Milan, New Hampshire, and we just cleared a problematic sewer that will that had high water table after the October rainstorm as evidence of the solids on the top of the tank because they were pumped out uh, in September after we had cleared the line and uh, basically they have sanitary tees on their back on the flush so with the 1.6 gallon flushes it's the solids they're amassing and building up and clogging inside the baffle it is 24 feet to the tank we'll push forward just a little bit and as you can see it's a concrete baffle and we drop into the tank so that's clear and we'll start pulling back towards the house Connection is good. Note that there is no proper access to clean the sewer from the basement crawl space. There's a couple sanitary tees that they need to remove and install Y plumbing. We are coming up sanitary tee right here. As we come up, there we go. Making that turn back up. Connections are good. Connections are good. That right there is the bathroom sink connection. And we're getting ready to pull back up through the toilet flange. And there's the sanitary tea right there. That's only one of the sanitary tees, so you're actually going to go through two sanitary tees before getting down to the outgoing sewer. So it's a loss of flow on the 1.6 gallon flush. Uh, sanitary tees are illegal by code on their backs or sides in the state of New Hampshire. And we are out, and we're looking at a typical 90s install. Um, cheap metal flange which are prone to rot out so just make you aware that that those do rot out in fact okay this is Rod from Mount Washington sewer and drain cleaning and this concludes the inspection of the sewer line for number 228 West Milan Road in West Milan New Hampshire